Welcome to the 11th part of this tutorial series where we're creating a GTA clone in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be um, adding a user interface to the game. So let's get started. So um, to begin with our with our game, uh, what we have so far, um, let's go to our car and disable everything. So now we're going to work on the UI. So as you can see right now, we can switch um, between weapons, but the player, let's say the player switched to the bazooka and then saw someone they want to shoot and they want to use the, the pistol, but they didn't know that they were using the pistol. So, and things of that nature. Basically what I'm saying is we want to show the player what gun they're using for one. We also want to show the player, um, we're not going to do this in this tutorial, but we also want to show them their possible health. Um, and also a wanted star. So the first thing we're going to upload is if we go here, we're going to have wanted stars. The link for this is in the description. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't find it. Oh, here we go. No stars. So um, as I said, the link for this is in the description. Um, we're going to put, oh, let me stop the game. I'm going to put this right here. Um, and then we're going to set this to size. 40 and then just move it right here right um, and then we're gonna go into the costumes and upload the rest of the the, the, the stars so one star to five stars right upload everything um in this particular order so we have all the stars right now we're just going to keep it at zero stars there's no way to get any stars in the game even if you kill civilians right now i'm not really going to have anything happen next or actually we might we might let's just see how this goes but the next thing we want to add is um a heart which is also in the description right here so this is going to be size 25 yeah and as i said if you look in the description you're going to find it um we're going to place this here and then we also have if i'm not mistaken a health variable we don't have that so we're going to call this for all sprites health and then right click on this and make it a large readout and put it right here and the last thing we need is our gun display but let's rename this to health um, okay, um, health image, health image. And then we also want to add, if you're going to the link in the description as well, um, this should be well, um, something called gun display. Um, for now, we're just going to choose the fist. That's going to be our default um, display. And we're going to have this set to size 25. And as I said, it's in the description. It's a little bit see-through, so it doesn't block too much of our player space. And as you can see, this is a bit weird the way we put it. So let's let's reorient it. Or or re or re. Oh my goodness! No, that's not what I meant. Okay, reorientate it, and yeah, this is perfect. Or well, not perfect, but this is fine. So basically, something like this. Of course, if you want to change it, it's whatever. Um, but this is what I'm thinking if you want the exact um, position this and then for the fist display it's this and for the stars it's this um, now that we have this of course when we click flag all we want the first thing is if we go to our heart we want to say when flag is clicked this is very important um, let me stop this when flag is clicked go to front layer for our heart image right so that's extremely important the next thing we're going to do is just drag this to our fist display and what we're going to do here as well is grab a forever loop and we're going to say if um grab a few if statements so the first one is if um and then grab an equals to statement and say if weapon equals to Fist. If you named it differently, please make sure to name it the same here. Um, and then we're going to switch costume to fist display. Dupli oh my goodness. And duplicate the if statement four times, right? And then the next one is going to be pistol. Um, the next one is going to be AR, the assault rifle. And the next one is going to be bazooka. And then all we have to do is 
Oh, okay, my bad. I put the rest of them in the costumes and then just bring um, this except that. Okay, and then we're going to make this pistol, make this AR, make this bazooka. And then just for searching purposes, I'm going to put this here, here, and here. Um, and now if we go to our flag and select a gun, it should show. The only thing that's not showing is the AR display. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, okay. Actually, what I'm assuming is I named it something different. Um, so to troubleshoot shoot this, um, we're going to the weapon. It's AK, not AR. So that's my fault. We just go here and change this to AK. So now if we go one, two, three, four, it shows every single gun. Um, go to the weapon, disable that. Now we can run around, choose the thing you want. And the front layer clearly isn't working. So what we're going to do is say forever front layer. Um, I, interesting. That was a bad bug of the car there. Hopefully that's not that big of a deal. Hopefully it was just something. Yeah, maybe I moved it. Maybe I moved it and just didn't notice. Wink, wink. Who knows? Anyway, the next thing is we want to put this in the forever loop as well. And now we want to deal with our wanted um, thing. And right here, we're just going to set up a few variables because um, let me see. For the next video, what, do I, what should we do? For the next video... I'm thinking, okay, UI and then next we do health. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's add a bit of this code. Let's add a bit of this code. So the first thing is, oh, oh yeah, let's just make the setup code um, for our stars. Um, all we're gonna say is when flag is clicked um, forever, um, go to front. And then we're going to set up a few brand new variables, which are going to be public. The first one is going to be stars. Um, the next one is going to be called stars timer. Um, and then we're going to have a few stats. We're going to call the first one um, civilians. Um, is it already here? Oh, we already have one. So... Yeah, civilians killed um, so let's do that we're gonna set stars um, we're gonna set stars timer um, we're gonna set civilians killed and we're also going to I think yeah this is it and then we're gonna add a few things for the police um, we're gonna which we're gonna of course use not now but later the first one is gonna be called police killed um, and then num of police active um, and then num police cars and then num of tanks okay that's spelled a bit wrong so this is just a little insight of what we're gonna have in our game um so what do we have police killed num of police num police cars and then number of things And then just put all that here we're setting everything to zero and then the final thing is if stars equal to zero then we're gonna switch costumes to no stars and then just duplicate this we have six of these, so duplicate this again. And then make this one, two, three, four, five. And then have this one, two, three, four, and five. 
so now let's go ahead and disable all of these variables we're not disabling them but just hiding them from the screen oh my goodness except health we should show health and every quick play everything should show perfectly and of course we don't have any stars so if we can go here and set it to three stars oh well well, you'll see we have three stars and nothing does change but yeah that's it for um let me do this that's it for this video thank you very much for watching please smash that like button if you did enjoy it i'm um, smash the subscribe button and notification button so you don't miss the next video we're going to be adding um health into our games and yeah see you in the next one peace